Hello, this is Teresa Love, and welcome to Fresh Hope Mondays. Luke 10, 27 tells us, Love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your strength and with all your mind and love your neighbor as yourself. What does love look like in action to the Lord? Love is willing to obey. Love is willing to walk in obedience. Love is blind trusted. It's faith. Walking by faith, not by sight. Love sacrifices time. Love sacrifices money. Love is a heart that is open to receive correction and direction from the Holy Spirit. Love is a heart willing to do the hard things and expecting God's beauty to show up. Love lives as Jesus lives. What's so awesome is that you and I can start to love the Lord this way today by his mercy and his grace. We can become one who walks in the way of the Holy Spirit in our Lord and Savior Jesus' name. 1 John 2 says, my dear children, I write this to you so that you may not sin. But if anyone does sin, you have an advocate with the Father, Jesus Christ, the righteous one. He is the atoning sacrifice for our sins, and not only for ours, but for the sins of the whole world. We know that we have come to know him if we keep his commandments. However, whoever says, I know him, but does not do what he commands is a liar. And the truth is not in that person. But if anyone obeys his word, love for God is truly made complete in them. This is how we know we are of him and we are in him. Whoever claims to live in him must live as Jesus did. Dear friends, I'm not writing you a new command, but an old one, which you have since heard from the beginning. This old command is the message you have heard. Yet I am writing you a new command. It's true. It's seen in him and in you because the darkness is passing and the light, the true light is already shining. No one who claims to be in the light but hates his brother or sister is still in the darkness. Anyone who loves their brothers and sisters lives in the light and there is nothing in them that will make them stumble. But anyone who hates a brother or a sister is in the darkness and the darkness has blinded them. Fresh Hope Monday. Through the mercy, through the grace, the kindness, the goodness of God, you and I have yet another day, another moment to live in the light, to live in Jesus, to receive him as our Lord, our King, our Savior. We have the opportunity to turn our hearts to the light, to love Jesus, and to love our brothers and sisters. So be bold, be of good courage. Allow your hearts and mind to be overfilled with the love mercy and grace of God today. Be blessed and have a wonderful, wonderful Monday.